There are certain things you gotta look out for in women that are massive, massive red flags. Today I wanna highlight five really big red flags that if you spot these, you better run and hightail it out of there if you wanna save yourself a lot of time, energy, and money in a lot of cases too. Don't worry bro, I got your back. Just keep your eyes open. So, let's get into it. So this video, man, I really want to highlight a lot of the red flags that I have seen personally in my own life, in my friends' lives, and just uh, other people that I've observed. Now, usually when a girl has one or multiple of these red flags, it's best to address these head on. Do not enhance or go further with this girl that you're talking to, or just call them out and see if she's actually healthy enough to work on them. But, but most of the time, you're going to want to just move on to a girl that doesn't have these. So number one, she's very, very argumentative. Some people say, well, I like a girl that challenges me, a one that helps me get motivated, etc., etc., which I understand where people might say that. A girl that is into self-improvement is going to want to better herself, so if she sees you slacking as a man, she's going to want to kick your ass a little bit and say, hey, I thought we were going to the gym today. I thought you were working on XYZ today. That's actually good, and I think that forms for healthy relationships. However, if she's constantly arguing with you for the sake of arguing because she likes drama, or because she just likes to win every single argument, or you say something and she consistently goes against your leadership, your authority, and your direction. Get out of there, bro. That kind of girl is a head case, and you don't want to deal with women like that. I'm not going to say that, oh, a girl's going to agree with you 100% of the time, but she should at least be open to your wisdom, be open to your perspectives. That's what feminine energy is. It's receptive. If she's not receiving your wisdom, your guidance, your leadership, and she's rejecting it, fighting against you, trying to challenge every single little thing you say, it's probably not worth investing in. Number two, she does not support your mission. This one is imperative. Guys, I tell you all the time to get on your purpose, to have a mission, to set goals in your life, right? That is your priority as a man. This is if you're in a relationship, married to her, you're just talking, whatever stage you're in. If she does not support your goals, your mission, your purpose, on to the next. I'm so serious about this. I actually had a relationship back in fall of last year is when we ended things. And one of the biggest reasons that I wanted to basically get out of that relationship is she didn't actually support my mission the way I wanted a girlfriend to support my mission. That is my fault for letting it get to that point and not telling her exactly what I need out of the situation. You know, everybody learns and grows. But she wasn't curious about it. You know, she didn't want to be super, super involved in it. I want a girl that is, you know, I can potentially film a video with. And she fully is on board. She's supportive. She encourages me. She wants to really see what I talk about. She wants to see how my mind works. That stuff is attractive to me. And that tells you that this woman is invested. She actually wants to see you progress and grow further because your purpose is what has is what makes her feel security it makes her feel feminine because you know exactly where you're going you know exactly what you want she should be on board with that you know a good woman is a good helpmate not to say that she's lesser than you or anything like that but the way that the feminine energy works it intertwines with masculine energy when a masculine man's on his purpose your woman who's in her feminine will support and nurture and grow that purpose with you if she can't do that or refuses to do that with you you're probably better off finding somebody else number three she is far too deep into modern feminism now this one is probably going to be a little controversial but man i'm just going to tell you exactly how i feel feminism is ruining women and i don't mean overall the scope of feminism i mean like what modern feminism has turned into. I can make a whole separate video about this. I've talked about this in the past, but there's just a lot of nonsense and wokeism that's tied up into feminism, thinking that men can do, or thinking that women can do things that men can do. Women can be independent, make their own money, and not include men in their lives. You know, I have very different opinions about all that, but to sum it up very briefly, if a woman really thinks that she doesn't need a man, go ahead, live alone then. Be happy being single. Because no guy wants to put up with a girl who is completely caught up in negative resentment of men and has a, a terrible association with masculine energy. Don't think you can save this girl. You're not. Unless she actually believes and truly does the work on herself to heal, 
to feel to feel better about men, to get over her own insecurities potentially, to and to understand what feminism has become. She isn't wrapped up in all that nonsense. Yeah, maybe you have a chance. But if she is so fully indoctrinated that there's nothing you can do, don't connect with women like that because they're a head case. I'm not gonna say that every woman's like that these days because they're not. But there is a lot of women that are completely brainwashed by mainstream feminism thinking that they don't need men. That they could do everything men can do. That they're totally replaceable. It's nonsense. We need each other. Men and women are different. We both have our strengths and weaknesses, but we complement each other perfectly. So if you separate us, what do you think that creates? More division, more, more government control, more, more brainwashing, but you know, that's a whole other video I can get into, but you get the idea. I'm not against women making their own money, I'm not against women having a career, but I understand relationships and I understand polarity. So if she's fully in her masculine, it's hard for her to attract men who are in their masculine. She's only going to attract feminine men. So if you're a masculine man, you don't want a masculine woman. You want a woman who's feminine, who can be in her feminine, who can feel comfortable in her feminine, even though she has other things going on. At the end of the day, bro, she's still a woman. Anything that these mainstream leftists tell you about women and feminism and all this crap, it's usually a bunch of smoke and mirrors. Number four, she posts extremely scandalous photos on social media. Now this one got me in some trouble on TikTok when I made a video about it, but I'm gonna stand by this because I fully believe this to be true. And so do women, they just don't wanna admit it. If a girl is posting nothing but thirst traps, I don't mean anything like bikini pictures, you know, girls showing off her body here and there. I don't mind that. I like a girl that has confidence in her body. I like a girl that shows off a little bit of her figure. I'm not against that. I think it's hot. Uh, obviously, we men look for this stuff. I'm talking about the egregious pictures where she's in you know, butts on the sink, titties hanging out, literally like showing and begging for attention. Every single photo is her selfie, duck face, like consistently showing off her body in super, super sexual ways, purposefully. Yeah, that's a red flag. Cause she craves validation. She craves attention so much. She has to put the same photo up again every single day just to get likes and engagement and DMs from simpy guys who wanna give her all this attention. That's why I advise you not to even follow women like that because it just distracts you, man. It's like pornography on uh, Instagram. It's the same thing. There's not that much of a difference. You're better off not following those women. You're better off following accounts that actually help you improve and, and get you further along your path. She can still post her body and she can still show that she's an attractive woman in a classy way. You know these women when you see them. They don't you know they don't they don't go over the top when it comes to posting their pictures they know that they're attractive but they don't shove it in your face and every single photo isn't about them they actually have something else going on maybe they're with friends family things that are important to them you know a very important quote that i've heard in the past and i still believe to this day if you want to see what people value watch what they photograph so whatever she's posting on social media and she's shoving that sexuality in your face constantly what do you think that girl's good for? Not much. Number five, she keeps her ex around and has consistent male orbiters. Now, one thing that I've learned about women along my time, and shout out to Corey Wayne, because he's basically the godfather of this term, I think. I don't know anybody else that's used this, but women, what, what they'll do a lot of times is they won't actually get with a guy immediately or she'll get a guy's phone number or she'll follow him on social media with no chances of ever really going out with him. She just wants him in her orbit so he can give her attention, give her validation. And those guys are called male orbiters. They think that they have a chance with this girl. They text her maybe, she's always busy, never available. If she has a lot of guys in her, you know, almost a female rotation, you wanna get the heck out of there, bro. She is deeply insecure and deeply damaged, especially with the ex. If she has all her exes in her phone, she talks to them constantly, maybe she meets up with them. Or maybe she goes out with some of these exes, you know, for coffee or for, uh, you know, for a meal or something. That is a red flag, man. If she cannot move on from her past and, and get over her past relationships, no go, bro. I had this girl that I talked to and she, and this is my mistake, because she was fresh out of her relationship, and we started talking, and every single thing that I did, she would compare me to her ex. 
oh, my ex actually wasn't as messy as, as you, or this didn't happen, like my ex was different, ex was this, ex was that, ex was this, ex was blah, 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 constantly in my face. You know how mind fucked that makes you as a man? How everything you do, you're comparing it to another guy? And how he did it better, or you didn't do it as well as him? It just fucks you up mentally. If you're if a girl you're talking to, or dating, or, or you're with, is constantly bringing up her ex, it's a red flag, man. Do not skip out on this. Or other men that she's constantly talking to, hanging out with. Something you want to be aware of. So, you know, don't be afraid to set that boundary either. If she brings up an ex, say, hey, look, I understand you're talking about your past. It's good to, to, to bring up, and I'm glad you're sharing it with me, but I don't want to talk about this anymore. This is me and you. I'm, we're not talking about the past. We're talking about the future and the present together. And if she can't respect that, then she got to go, man. That's kind of like a bonus to all these two. She don't respect your boundaries. Get out of there, man. Do not hang around with women thinking you'll change them. You're not. If she's disrespectful to your boundaries and doesn't treat you with respect and admiration, she never will. Find women that will respect you, that will understand your values, that follow your lead, and who wants to be a part of your lifestyle. Not every girl's going to. That's fine. This is not a video meant to think women are terrible or all women are scary and red flags everywhere. Yeah, a lot of women will have these. It doesn't mean that every woman will either. You gotta find the right ones and be aware of these red flags. And again, these are just mine. You might have your own. So let me know what your red flags are down below. If you agree with my list, if you put something else in there, make sure you like the video if you enjoyed this style of content and what I talked about here. Make sure you subscribe if you enjoy content about masculinity, improving your lifestyle and attracting high quality relationships. You're in the right place. Hit, sub hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. And if you wanna work with me personally, I have my links down below if you want to sign up for a free discovery call we can talk about all things that i just mentioned so that's it man hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you took some things away from it because i think if you pay attention to these and you you don't ignore them like i used to you should be in a lot better position when it comes to attracting the right type of women into your life that's it man i will see you in the next video remember everything truly does start with you peace out man